South Africa was one of the first countries to sign up to the BRI Memorandum of Understanding. So what would you say are some of the most consequential benefits? If you look at the African infrastructure, which is very critical for intra-Africa trade and this free trade area, China has been playing a leading role. You can talk of uh, the, the ports in Tanzania, the port in Nigeria. You can mention any country. The railway link between Mombasa and uh, Nairobi, the railway link between Ethiopia, Addis, and Djibouti, uh, cutting the length of travel to the south. Uh, Ethiopia was uh, engaged in, in terms of export and imports. But the significant contribution now is coming through naturally through the corporations from China. These uh, companies were investing in our key economic infrastructure. Let me start with digital infrastructure. Chinese companies and technologies, they constitute not only in Africa but in South Africa. They are the major supply of uh, these key technologies for 5G. Now we're facing some energy shortfall. The Chinese companies Voluntarily, we came to participate, uh, some of them online, but most of them went to Johannesburg and sent them to brainstorm with us. How can we come out of this as quick as possible? Because it's got negative impact on our economy. The new Minister of Electricity visited here in China, Beijing, other cities, Tianjin, Guangzhou, Shanghai, to interact with this company in detail to see their technologies, whether they work. That just shows the, this good uh, working relationship because of this Belt and Road Initiative and uh, its impact, which can be seen because all these things are measurable. <laughs>